Welcome. This is Robert Griffith from Free Tutorials and AskGriff.com, and I'm here to do a review of the AT Diac AT330 uh, OBD2 scanner. And what this is for is you plug this into your OBD2, OBD2 port under your dashboard, typically driver side, and it will tell you what is wrong with your car. Um, what the check engine lights are saying, etc. So we'll get out there, plug this in, and see what it does. Um, looks to me like it's all set, ready to run. Uh, it came in a nice box. I'll go ahead and do the unboxing as well and post that on here if you're interested in that. But mostly I think people want to see what it does and how it works. So we'll do that here in a minute. Thank you very much for being here. Okay, so it might be a little bright out here. There's snow on the ground. Um, so this plug, what I will do is I will find my port, which is located right under here in my Saturn, and I will plug this in and should start to get some diagnostics. All right, so I can see it's plugged in. Pops up quick to the menu. It looks like I've got diagnostics, DTC lookup, system setup, tool information, tool self test, etc. I will use the buttons, really. Um, you know, for example, I'm just gonna first off just start with the diagnostics. And I click diagnostic. It's linking and scanning. Alright, so all that stuff is on. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter for the engine test. Whoops. Enter. Read codes. Uh, stored codes. Alright, and the first error message pops up there. Okay, so it's telling me evaporative emission system leak detected. Large leak. Well, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> so, great. Evaporative emission system leak detected. I don't know if you can really see it very well through this camera. I'm getting weird glares. Um, and if I go down, it'll take me to the next one. Let's see. If there's the button. Alright, so you can see I've got two error codes showing. Alright. So, now if I go back a little bit go back again one of the options here is erase codes when I look at my dashboard I can see my check engine light is on that's giving me the check engine light because of those two errors I'm assuming now I'm gonna go ahead and click the clear engine code which I'm gonna drop down to erase codes and hit enter and if I watch my check engine lights up here, it should clear my engine light. All right, and it did. All right, so if I go back up here and move it up here and do read codes, the codes should be gone. There we go. So it's a really good tool. Good diagnostics. All right, so I'm back from plugging it into my car, and I have to say it's a good device from what I can tell. It does everything that I thought it would for, it's somewhere around $33, $34, something like that. Um, to me, it was well worth it. I've been wondering what these codes were for my check engine light, and um, I have a fixed device, which I've done a review for also. Uh, but it didn't have, it, it plugs into your car and you kind of leave it there. I could have taken that and put it into another vehicle, but I would kind of like one I can just kind of read and, and check. So I recommend this device for the price and for the quality. It's a lot sturdier than I thought it would be. Uh, so I'm impressed with it. 
Um, so anyway, this is Robert Griffith from Free Tutorials and Ask Griff, and thanks for coming by. So here you have the unopened AT Diag um, OBD. Let me just give you the information here. It's the AT Diag AT330 OBD2 uh, EOBD code scanner. So I'm going to go ahead and open this package. I got this from Amazon and it came in just a couple days. I was impressed with the speed at which this thing showed up. All right, so here you see the OBD2 scanner and cable. Let me pull that off. Nice screen, it's got good buttons on here. Um, let me untwist it. All right. Here you see the port that you would use to plug into your OBD2 scanner, or <laughs> the plug that you would put into your OBD2 port. And it's got a nice long cord. I was kind of hoping for that. And the instructions right here, um, AT Diag AT330. And should be fairly self-explanatory once you get in there and we'll go out there and work on that here in a minute but it's showing you what languages you can pick the type of diagnostics you can run etc all right so it's fairly self-explanatory fairly straightforward um, I will take this out to the car and plug it in